we have seen that an equation containing derivatives of unknown functions is called a differential equation if the unknown function depends on only one variable it is called ordinary differential equation in short de if the unknown function depends on two or more variables it is called partial differential equation the general form of a de is f of x comma y comma y1 comma y2 and so on is equal to 0 where y1 y2 y3 are higher derivatives the order of the highest derivative in the equation is called the order of the differential equation the degree of the de that is differential equation is the degree of the highest de derivative after removing the radicals and fractional powers a function y is equal to f of x is called a solution of differential equation if it satisfies the d now we have already seen an example so let's in this session focus on the degree and order okay let's find the degree and order of some differential equation x y double prime plus y is equal to y prime plus one this is straightforward what you have to figure out is the highest derivative highest derivative is this and what is the degree of this this is one so order is two degree is one okay now remember y double prime can also be written as y2 so y2 is the second derivative plus ky is equal to y1 to the power of 3 by 2 now we have to remove the radicals or the fractional powers now here we have 3 by 2 now we have to remove that by 2 so to remove that by 2 we have to multiply it by 2 that means we are squaring it so that means on this side also we have to square it if we square it what happens these two get cancelled out anyhow this is the highest derivative so order is 2 degree is also going to be 2 if we when we expand it what happens this becomes y2 square so to y square plus y2 square plus 3x plus y1 plus x square y square again highest order derivative is this this is equal to sin x highest order derivative is this so which means that the order is 2 and degree is also d square y by d x square cube plus dy by dx square equal to x again highest derivative is this its power uh, its degree is 3 so order of the differential equation is 2 and degree is 3 dy by dx square to the power of 3 by 2 is equal to a times d square y by dx square okay now let's take care of this is 3 by 2 okay let's take care of this so this whole thing if we square we multiplied this by 2 so these two get cancelled and see you can do this in your mind itself uh, on this side the degree is 2 whereas on this side the degree would become uh, uh, 6 but the problem is this is first derivative whereas this is the second derivative so order of this is 2 
because this is the highest order and the degree is also to a square y double prime is equal to 1 plus y prime square to the power of 3 by 4. Now we have to remove that by 4. So multiply it by 4. So we have raised it to the power of 4. So raise it here as well. So the order is 2 and the degree is 4. 7. 1 plus dy by dx square to the power of 3 is equal to y double prime. This is 3 by 4. Now here again we have to remove this 4. So times 4. So this becomes 4. So the order is 2. Degree is 4. Okay. 8 1. Y 2 plus 1 plus Y 1 square to the power of 3 by 2 equal to 0. Now if we take it to that side, this will become minus Y 2 times 2. So this will be get squared. So this is 2 and 2, 9th. Y double prime 4 by 3 is equal to no minus 5y prime to the power of 5. See because of this confusion that can arise because of this prime, this way of uh, writing the derivative we can write y1 to the power of 5 is equal to 0. So here order is 2. Now uh, multiply this by 3. So this gets multiplied by 3. Highest order is this. Uh, highest uh, derivative is this. So order is 2. And degree of that is 4. Okay. 1 plus y1 to the power of 5 to the power of 1 by 3 is equal to y2 double prime or y2. Okay. So here we multiplied by 3 and we raise it. We raise both the sides to the power of 3. So this gets cancelled. Order is 2, degree is 3. So here uh, be careful when you are removing the radicals and the fractional powers because this order and degree business it will help you in understanding some properties of the differential equation okay i think that's enough for today bye for now